great risings on my beautiful butterflies how y'all doing out there in butterfly land i hope that everybody is black magnificent afro-magnificent wonderful dandy delightful broody you guys my voice is sounding very very deep this morning i'm really going through with these allergies but guess what it ain't gonna stop nothing it ain't gonna stop nothing in life my tea gave up a little cheesy this morning, y'all. I've been eating. <laughs> I'm over here shuffling up some cards. I got my Uno cards, but I need to have my reading cards, my tarot. <laughs> but, uh, and yeah, I was thinking about Uno. You can read any cards that you want to read. But um, I, um, I'm not even playing. It's just that I felt like shuffling in my tarot cards are being charged. So, <laughs> I'm doing what I do. <laughs> All right, y'all. I came here because, not to do a reading. <laughs> I came here because Spirit told me to get up. Y'all, it's about 5, 5.50. And I had my lipstick on so cute. But I got to chewing and then hubby left this morning. I had to give my hubby some kisses. Lots and lots of kisses. So my little lipstick probably rubbed off. I was already out and about this morning. And I had to get home in time to spend some time with my love. Guys, I have made videos. And Spirit told me this morning that I had not been reminding you guys to throw up your, your 12 noon. <laughs> or as I'm saying, Spirit says to tell you 12 noon, positive energy. But I'm saying, throw it up all day. 24, 7, 25, 8, I don't care. Just throw it up. You guys, <laughs> getting a text message from my son. But, um, Spirit has also led me to tell you guys that the days ahead are going to be different. They're going to be very different. Wow. The days ahead are going to be very, very different, Spirit says. You guys, 444 has been following me. And um, it's kind of weird that I'm sitting here with these cards. Not to get sidetracked. But um, when the cards fell, 444 fell. I haven't seen 444 for a very long time. And I'm well aware of the meaning. But anti holes in the empty ways. Spirit wants you all to remain positive during this time. There will be transformations. There will be information, but mainly transformation. Things will not stay the same. And Spirit wants you to know that. It is time for change. Some things will be coerced. Some will be forced. There are people who are doing dark magic and think that they are going to continue to get away with it. But their karma is so near. You guys, I love these areas. <laughs> but uh, they should have been black on the inside. Sets off an outfit, something terrible. But anti who's and into it. Y'all, I didn't get much sleep last night. I tossed and I turned and I tossed and I turned. And as I tossed and turned, Spirit showed me a lot of things. Took me a lot of places. And told me to remind you to stay positive during this time. Because dark times are coming. 
transformation times are coming. And that is why Spirit has sent me back here to keep you guys motivated, to keep you guys uplifted, to keep you guys in prayer, which I continuously keep all of you in prayer. And I thank you, all of my subscribers, those who participate and those who don't. I thank those who watch. I thank those who leave comments, especially. Shout out to my sister, Benj Thinker. She's doing some wonderful things on her channel, keeping up with You guys, I know I gotta have a deck that's charged already because my hands is going. And I know there's something that I need to read. I know there's something, that I need. there's a message. <laughs> uh, but uh, Spirit tells me what I need to know, so I don't really get into the cards like I used to. Because spirit enlightens me, spirit talks with me, spirit walks with me. Spirit told me to get my behind up and exercise. And spirit was walking with me. I didn't even have to turn on my music. Yes. Spirit talked to my husband yesterday on his job. Say something. When you think that things are not working out as they should, or if you think things are not patterning themselves out as they should, or you think that life is not going in the manner in which you feel, spirit will speak to your spouse, to your children, to your mama, to your daddy. To your next door neighbor to grant you what you need to know. Y'all, I was so down in the dumps. I really was. I was in my bed. I was in my bed for days. I only got up because I had to. When I had to. And when spirit summoned me. Y'all hadn't been exercising. Since I don't know how long. Depression tried to sit in. The spirit allowed me to lay in my phone until spirit <laughs> decided that it was time for me to get help. My husband was talking to me and he's so supportive. I love him. I love him with every beat of my heart. My children are talking to me. Those are my loves. I love them with everything that I have inside of me. And I have a very powerful love. Y'all, it was as if I had hit a wall. Because I kept trying to figure, what can I do with my hands? What can I do? Everybody else is bringing something to the table as far as finances are concerned. And I want to bring something to you. Well, I have had a bunch of missed opportunities. I found out this morning that I had a missed opportunity and I started to lay my face in my pillow and cry. The spirit told me to get my ass off. Spirits, I get up. 3.30 this morning, 3.38. It's in my lavatory. You guys. I was thinking. The same thing I was thinking when I turned 50. Oh my God. What have I done? What legacy shall I leave? And I was listening to my sister video that just turned 50 bench thinking. And she was saying she was at that point when she was 30. <laughs> Honey, I was at that point at 40. 
And now we get at 53. Ever since I turned 50, I, I've been feeling it. You know, we're all waiting to do something grand. Something that'll see our name and lights. Say this is my work of art and I can leave this behind as my legacy. My spirit talked to my husband. <laughs> and my husband talked to me. He called me on his break. And he said, baby, he said, let me tell you something. You've done an awesome job with our children. He said, look at our children. He said, I imagine if you were working. What would have happened to our children and where would they be? thought about that. Keep hearing people say it. But it was something different. There's something different about it. I was laying in the, bed, in the bunk. Y'all. And he said, imagine you could have been with another man, a different kind of man that didn't care about you. One that wouldn't have had you back through all of this and wouldn't take care of you. He said, but I'm here. I was created for you. I was put here. I was sent here to take care of you. And although my husband has always been here for me and has told me things, there was something different. See, it's something different when your man, your child, your mama, your daddy, your siblings, your nieces, your nephews, or whomsoever tells you that spirit talk to them. And you know that it's the truth. There'll be something different about the delivery. It'll be something different about the delivery. And there was. Something wonderful, something heavy about the delivery. Let me tell you something. I have known people who have gotten sick and could not work anymore. One particular brother in mine. Well, actually, two. Two brothers in mine. Their wives walked away from them. One had diabetes, the other one had a heart condition. Wives just up and left, forgetting their vows. Forgetting their vows. And, um, left. One of the brothers died. And he was the son of a good friend of mine. Very good friend. Love her. Love my heart. Wonderful woman. And um, I had seen the wife. She had went and married someone else. It was all about that dollar and that penis. I don't even know she ain't happy right now. She ain't happy. She talked a lot of shitty while she was doing my hair. She didn't want no sick man. So why did you take those vows? Another brother used to work with my husband. And he married the twin of one of my children's teachers. Another one of my husband's co-workers' wife had gotten cancer in the stomach, and he 
we cheated. We ain't paying. Not even one of the baby moments, somebody else running around with a new family. How many of you know that karma has a way of letting you think that you are getting away with something? But then come. <laughs> anti abuse and anti race I'm not here for that but my baby and I have been there for one another this July we'll be celebrating 36 young glorious years it hasn't always been up hasn't always been down sometimes it's been in the middle but love Yeah, love will keep us together. <laughs> but love. Love is an awesome thing. It's a powerful thing. And especially when you invite the you and I perks into the center of it. When you place this, the you and I perks as the center, and spirit as your guide. You can overcome all obstacles. You can penetrate the walls of fear and doubt. You can get to a place of great satisfaction, peace, <laughs> and grand gloriousness. You can find fullness of joy and become victorious against your infiltrators, those who seek to try to come in between your marriage and disrupt your home. So when my baby called me and told me that spirit spoke to him while he was working, and he had to call me desperate. <laughs> had to call his wife and tell me what the spirit said. Do y'all know that I was instantly, instantly transformed? Transformed instantly. I felt better. I had more energy and I got up. I got up because I had spent days in the bed. I would get up to shower, use the restroom, and I'd be out in the morning, but not doing as I should have been doing. So here I am. I'm not feeling any doubt because I know where my place is. My my um son said to me yesterday. I started saying my baby son. <laughs> no. My son said to me yesterday. He said, "Mama, just think it could be worse." That's what my elder said. It could be worse. So I had to really. He said, you could be on these jobs dealing with these McA-hole people <laughs> and stressing out. He said, we understand that it's not your fault what happened to your body. My husband told me the same thing, but my son was bringing confirmation. We understand that it's not your fault what happened to your body. He said, there's a bunch of lazy people. There's people on the job right now that want to be laid off so they can collect on them for a so what? Who thinks of such? Who thinks of such? Mm. 
but they loved on me yesterday and they ministered to me. And it got me to really looking and thinking. It could be worse. It could be worse. I could have a man that didn't want to take care of me, that didn't want to love on me, that would get rid of me because I had gotten sick. And as I have told you guys before, my children and my husband have had to wipe my behind, pick me up and carry me around like a baby. And for that, I'm eternally grateful because he took those vows seriously. My husband was taking care of me while I was ill and could not take care of myself. And he was not ill yet. He was always a picture of perfect health. So when he got ill, even if I had never been ill, guess what? I would have still been right by his side just like I am. And I still would have taken care of him. Because love is that deep. I have talked to you guys long enough. I need to go and get my cards because I know that there's a message. I don't know who the message is for. <laughs> but I know that there's a message because I'm over here shuffling. And these cards are flipping. And I'm telling you, Spirit is telling me to grab a specific deck because there's something that I need to know. Something that I need to know. Sometimes, you know, Spirit, <laughs> Spirit and I have a relationship that is <laughs> unique. Okay? <laughs> have a very unique relationship. And sometimes Spirit will tell me things and other times Spirit will want me to see things. And other times Spirit will want me to read things. So I am going to go grab my decks and lay them out and see what spirit wants me to know. I believe they're charged enough. I gotta get my sage <laughs> and my incense because y'all. Oh, I got a feeling this is gonna be deep. Gonna be deep. Gonna be deep. <laughs> so now I'm here to remind you, a spirit told me, since I had not been, to throw up your 12 noon, your bright and early morning, your evening, your every hour on the hour, positive energy, because it changes things. It changes the atmosphere. And even if you're not throwing it up, I'm still throwing it up for you. Even if you're not saying prayers, if you're not chanting, if you're not channeling, if you're not echoing, guess what? I'm doing it for you. Keeping you guys uplifted in prayer. Please enjoy this Vanglorious Wednesday, May 5th. Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> okay, you guys. I'm about to go grab my decks and see what Spirit has to say. Because Spirit will not tell me. And I'm over here and I want Spirit to tell me so that I don't have to go messing with my decks. But Spirit wants me to grab this particular deck. And I don't know why. I'm just going to anoint my hands. See what Spirit has to say. All right, you guys, I love you with every beat of my heart, my beautiful butterflies. And again, thank you for my new subscribers and for those of you who have been with me, staying with me, sticking with me. I love you guys. All right, peace.